town without a grocery store has a huge loss, a disadvantage. Why would you want to move to the community? It's the reason Perry Cameron held on to Pa's Market for so long, but he and his wife can no longer afford the responsibilities. Over the last three or four years, we've been borrowing money to keep the door open, thinking the economy would pick up, mm -hmm. and it hasn't, and it just comes to the realization, you know, it may never pick up, so we don't have a whole lot of choices but besides to close the door. Cameron said he'd hoped area residents would revive business when the word got out about the shop needing help but that did not happen. He says the number of other retailers in the Keokuk and Quincy areas have driven away his customers. Multiple floods dating back to the flood of 93 have continued to wipe out the number of fresh goods that come in. We had fresh meat market, you know, with fresh meat product, or not prepackaged like everywhere else you go to buy. It was one of the biggest incentives to shop here, but now you'll find the butcher shelves empty. As for when Paws Market will officially close... Don't know for sure. It's when we reduce the inventory. It's practically nothing. Right now, you'll find the price of almost everything in the store reduced by 30%. Even if he sells everything in the store, Cameron says there's more debt to be paid and no source of income to pay it. It is scary, you know, not knowing where your next dollar is going to come from to pay your expenses. It's a harsh reality, but Cameron continues to stay optimistic about his future. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Warsaw, Illinois.